Fragrant family, I'm Tyler. This is Simply Fragrance. And I'm, oh, I'm so freaking excited because I got, boom, these bad boys right here. That's right. This is the short story uh, collection set from Imaginary Authors. Whew, man, I'm so freaking excited. I could just do 14 cartwheels, but I won't. But I'm excited for this, guys. Uh, this is something I've been waiting for for a while. Um, I smelled, uh, it was a city on fire not too long ago, and it's absolutely blown away. So I've been just pondering and pondering. I was like, do I just get one fragrance? Do I get this? And so you know what I did? I went ahead and I got 12. I got 12 of the sample set. That's right. Uh, eight different fragrances come in this. So I bought eight and then I bought a couple more so that way I could have 12, at least all that was on the list. So I'm so freaking pumped, dude. Like, it's going to be good. Uh, I'm going to give my first impressions of all these. And I have a giveaway. That's right. I have a giveaway. I got you. I got you, baby. Uh, that's right. I got two. Um, I think it was um, Memoirs of a Trespasser and Falling into the Sea. One for myself and one. Uh, actually, two since you're going to get two. Two for one lucky subscriber. That's right. Stay tuned for the details. I'm going to get you guys uh, get my first impressions, first thoughts. And, man, we're going to have fun. Hope you guys like this intro. Let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, this is Tyler Simply Fragrances. Hopefully, you yeah, enjoyed that uh, crazy intro that I had there. But what can I say? Fragrances get me excited, especially when it's something that uh, has been on my radar for a while. And, uh, man, I'm just really, really excited to bring this to you guys. Hopefully, you guys like the new setup. Like, check this out. I got, I mean, you can't see everything that's in the back there, but... Uh, this goes like four rows deep. I mean, this goes like four rows deep, but got a new shelf and uh, I think I'm going to start displaying that. Let me know what you think in the comments, if you like it or not. If you like the Zaharoff posters, just kind of, you know, trying to get some feedback on that. So um, anyways, but I'm super, super excited, guys. This is a short stories collection. So uh, I got two of them so I could smell all of them uh, that were on the list here. So not everyone is included like Bull's Blood, uh, A Soft Lawn. And uh, I think there's one other one that wasn't included, but uh, I'm super, super excited about this, guys. So this is the box presentation. Look at that. That just looks super terrific, very unique, very uh, just awesome. So it looks like a book, um, obviously, it's a short story collection, but uh, even it's got like the page, uh, looks like, you know, pages in a book. And so really, really, really enjoy the box presentation. You open it up and it's got this little magnet. You hear that? It like makes it close. So it stays shut, I love that. You open it up and it's got this right in here. And then here are all my goodies. Look at this guys, I'm so, uh, I'm so excited about this. <clears throat> okay, um, so I'm super, super stoked. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the two that I wanna save for last because these are ones that uh, I'm most, most excited about. It's gonna be most, Awesome. So uh, these, this is going to be falling into the sea, and then memoirs of a tre trespasser. Blah, blah, blah. Memoirs of a trespasser. Sorry, needed to buy a vowel. Um, and I'm going to go straight from their website. So I'm on their website, and uh, just look at the notes and stuff like that. So um, let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please, please go ahead. Hit the red subscribe button. That really helps me out. Give the video a like. If you like it, if you don't, give it a thumbs down. I just want honest feedback. Um, guys, look at us. We're growing, man. We're at 271. 271 subscribers. We're almost at 300. Look at us. We're the fragrance family. Let's get this, guys. So the first one I'm going to start with is St. Julep. So I got the notes right here. Um, it is Sweet Mint Tangerine Southern uh, Mangula. Mang 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 I don't know how to say that. Uh, bourbon. Um, sugar cube and Gerslava. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I probably just embarrassed myself, but that's okay. Gerslava, G I, uh, sorry, G R I S A L V A. Gerslava. I don't know, but let's go ahead and get into this, guys. I'm super stoked and ready for this. All the reviews that I've seen on this house have just been amazing. So these are little sample sets. You get little two ml samples. Um, they're 35 a piece so i spent like 70 something dollars on all of this because i wanted to you know sample all of them that i could um i was really really debating on getting a full bottle of falling into the sea or memoirs of a trespasser uh, but i was like you know what like i'm gonna spend that same amount of money and i'm gonna smell all of them and then based off that 
I'm gonna get a bottle because I know I'm just that's just how I am. I guarantee you, I'm gonna be buying Falling into the Sea and Memoirs of a Tres Trespasser. It's just probably gonna happen. But Saint Julep, let's go ahead and get into this, guys. First impressions: these have never been sprayed. As you see, I will have to. All right. I'm excited. What? What in the world? This, this is amazing. So right off the tip, like you get this beautiful sugar cube note. Like I know that sounds super weird, but I know it's not like listed, like it's an imaginary note, imaginary author, so sugar cube, but you get this beautiful sugar cube in there with this sweet mint. And what's crazy is the bourbon comes out. Like this smells like, okay, let me paint you a picture, okay? You're on the beach. There's palm trees all around you. You got a nice glass of just some sweet alcoholic beverage with just like ice chips in there. Like, and as you're drinking this, you can hear like the sound of the ice kind of mixing around in the in the glass. You got the beach, uh, the ocean in the background. You got kids playing, you got people playing volleyball and you're just, you're just out maxing and relaxing just like this, soaking up the beach rays. The beach rays, well, wow. how about sun rays at the beach? Man, I'm a goober. Guys, this is amazing. Southern Manji, Man, Mangola. I don't know what that is, but that's amazing, guys. I, I'm gonna have to buy a bottle of this. Like, I just wasn't even expecting this. This is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this one. Saint Julep. Hopefully all these notes aren't weird and make me look like I'm a, a bad reader. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's go with Whispered Myths. This should be interesting. I gotta go through the site here, so bear with me for one second. Whispered Myths, where are you? Whispered Myths, let's get this. Okay, so the notes in here are gonna be Cantaloupe, Cedarwood, Musk, Muscadine, uh, Honey, and Salvage Shipwreck. Wow, oh, and there's natural Cambodian oud. So this could probably be like a good winter fragrance, good fall fragrance. We're gonna see, guys. Guys, I'm so excited, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is something I've looked forward to all week. Josh Meyer, I don't know if you're ever gonna watch this video, man. Uh, hopefully I'm not butchering the note names, but uh, man, I'm freaking excited about this. Wow. Wow, 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 okay. Lots and lots of cantaloupe. Like, I know that sounds like who would want to smell like a cantaloupe, but it's almost like the rind of a cantaloupe you get mixed with this smooth, smooth honey. And in the very background in the opening, you get this cedar wood that just ties it all together. It gives it kind of this woody, sweet honey cantaloupe like that. Who would have thought these notes would have worked? Like, Josh Meyer, you are a genius, sir. Oh my gosh, guys, these are amazing. So, this is definitely a perfect, perfect springtime fragrance. Super light, aromatic, literally smells just like a light breeze that you just, picture this, you're at a picnic, okay? A summertime picnic, and this light breeze rolls in, and you got these pine trees that are on top of a hill, and you're at a picnic and you're eating candle, you're eating watermelon. So you get this very melon vibe. And you get this just sweet honey in the air. Oh my gosh, guys. This is a masterpiece. This is so good. Whispered myths. Well, I know where some of my stimulus check is going, guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, next on the list, Cobra and the Canary. I'm really excited about this because from what I've seen, this one is kind of leathery. It's kind of got some lemon in here. Let's see. Yeah, so we got the notes here. We got lemon, orris, tobacco, flowers, leather, hay fields, and asphalt as the imaginary note. So I'm kind of curious to see what asphalt will be like because you ever smelled like asphalt when it's being laid on the ground fresh? It kind of stinks. So kind of curious to see what this one's going to be. The Cobra and the Canary. Let's get into this, guys. <sighs> I'm 
flipping beautiful. Flipping amazing. Okay, so I gotta get the notes lifted up here, sorry. Lots of lemon in the background. I know that sounds weird, but it's like, it's very present, but it's kind of in, in the background, if that makes sense. Like you can smell it, but it's not the most dominant note coming forth. You get this beautiful leather, like gorgeous leather. And you kind of pick up on the tobacco leaf. So like what I'm really getting is like the lemon, the um, this leather, and the tobacco just kind of rounds it all out together. And what's funny is like you'd think the asphalt would stink, but you kind of get this like hot asphalt in a hot summer day kind of vibe going. But this would be a perfect winter fragrance, like winter and fall. Josh, dude, like, man, what are you doing? Like, you're making me spend all my money. Like, this is, this is amazing. Guys, like, if you get, just, I'm telling you now, get the sample set. Like, I'm so flipping glad I did. Oh, man, this is so good. So, lots of sweet tobacco flour in there with lemon and leather, and it's just amazing, guys. Okay, this video is going to go on a long time. I'm just going to let you know. So, hope you're not looking for a short video because this is not going to be one because this is amazing guys i'm super super intrigued so next one on the list is telegram let's go ahead and get into this here's the notes notes are going to be talc lavender absolute black pepper teak amorous vanilla powder and fresh linens okay so i'm picturing maybe kind of a summery springtime fragrance i don't know we're gonna see what a telegram would smell like guys i'm so excited guys Whoa, whoa, okay, whoa. I get like a very, it's not even listed on here. It's, it's the vanilla, okay. I was like, I almost get like a honey vibe to this. But it's gotta be the vanilla. It's like a warm, warm vanilla. And then there's this beautiful lavender kind of tying this in. And you almost like with that linen, I think it's like the warm vanilla with the lavender and on this cool, like as it like disperses, I guess. And if that makes sense, you would get like this fresh linen vibe, almost like uh, clothes hanging out on the, on the, uh, on the line, drying in the wind. You know, I'm really searching for that black pepper, but I'm not getting any kind of black pepper and that's fine. Guys, yeah, this is really good. Like. This is very unisex, I would say. This is, it almost leans a tad smidge feminine with that uh, vanilla in there. But man, this stuff is, I'm trying to like dissect this. This is very interesting. So lots of lemon and lavender. I don't know what teak smells like or talc really smells like, but it does kind of have like an earthy vibe to it. Man, this stuff is really good, guys. Okay, so Telegram. Definitely, definitely recommend sampling that one. Don't blind by that one. Yeah, it's very, it's sweet. It's got a lot of warm vanilla. It's got lavender in there, but it almost kind of leans just a smidge feminine. But I think in like the fall and winter, that would be amazing. It would be definitely, definitely amazing. All right, guys. Ooh, this is, I'm, I'm excited about this one. Sun Drunk. This is one of their more popular ones, so... Let's go ahead and get into Sundrunk. I'm super excited. So the notes for Sundrunk are gonna be Neroli, Rhubarb, Honeysuckle, Rosewater, Orange Zest, excuse me, and First Kiss. First Kiss obviously being the imaginary note. Sundrunk, let's go. Why are these so good? Oh my gosh. Okay, so lots of orange zest. Like, not like a, like a like fresh orange, but it's like the orange peel, like the orange, uh, like the hide of the orange when you peel it. And you get that rose water that, man, that rose in this little tinge of rose in there. And you get that rhubarb. Like, the rhubarb in there is, man, just super, I don't know if rhubarb could be juicy, but this is like a juicy, sweet, 
very heavy citrusy type of fragrance and then that sweet neroli in the background that powdery kind of neroli so like think of like okay picture this okay you're sitting by the pool in the summertime as a kid you know your mom just asked you to come you know sit out and eat lunch and then for dessert you're drinking just like sparkling water while eating an orange popsicle like man this is so flipping good, guys. This is so unique. This is why I love indie niche houses. This is why, man, this is what perfuming should be about, guys. Like, honestly. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the mass appealing, you know, like, crowd-pleasing stuff. But this, this is perfuming, man. Oh, this is so good. Sundruck, man. This is absolutely amazing. Gosh darn it. I'm, I'm just going to have to buy the whole freaking house, apparently. Um, and then... I'm not, uh, I've already done City on Fire, but you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go ahead and do it, guys. It's going to be kind of a long video. I'm sorry. I got the dry downs all, so I'll come back to them. I already know what you smell like, but I'm freaking excited. Oh, yeah, this is so good. Okay, so we go back at the top here, get the notes for a City on Fire. Man, guys, this is like one of my all-time, all-time favorite fall and winter fragrances. So the uh, notes in here are uh, Cade Oil, uh, Spikenard, Cardamom, uh, Clearwood, Dark Berries, Labdanum, and Burnt Match. And then what you really get off of this, like, man, it's very unique, very... I don't even know how to word it. Like, it's very different, very out there in the very opening. You get a lot of Cade, I don't know what Cade oil is, but you just get like this dark oily resin with this, like, I guess it's clear wood. I don't know what clear wood is, but you get a very, very woody, dark, resiny, oily, just thick, like thick with like five C's kind of smoke there. Like, oh, this is so good though. And you get like this burnt match kind of vibe to it. Like when you like strike a match, let it blow out, kind of get that all in the air. So it's very, just almost in a, in a weird sense, almost off-putting in the very, very opening of it. But as it dries down, guys, this is an amazing, amazing fall and winter fragrance. Ah, this is so good. Uh, City on fire, guys. Definitely only for like the fall, winter, um, very cold weather. You will choke yourself out and everyone else around you out um, if you spray too much of that on because I've done it. All right, guys. So here's my second sample for the lucky subscriber. Uh, falling into the sea and then the other memoirs of a trespasser so those are my left aside for you now let's go ahead and continue okay every storm a serenade i'm really really excited about this one this is probably my third favorite um, or third most um anticipated one from the house okay so we got danish spruce eucalyptus vetiver uh cologne uh, ambergris and Baltic sea mist. So Baltic sea mist obviously being the um, imaginary note. Let's go ahead and get this guys. I'm done. Like, why are these so good? Oh my God. No, I'm, I'm getting more. Like I'm being selfish with this one. I need more of this. Josh, like, what are you doing to me, man? Okay, so a lot of vetiver, a lot of eucalyptus in the opening. I don't know what Danish spruce would smell like, but there is kind of like a, a sprucey note, if that makes sense. And like, it's, it's so you get this, like, so imagine a Baltic sea mist, but you do get like this ship out at sea, kind of in like a fog, um, almost while it's raining type of vibe. So get that Baltic sea mist as the imaginary note and it, it's very fitting. So guys, I think the real star to this is like the eucalyptus and that vetiver mixing together and making just this very unique spring, summertime, very light, crisp, oceanic type of fragrance. My God, this stuff is so freaking good. Man, all my freaking stimulus check is gonna go to imaginary authors, which I mean, I guess there could be worse places uh, to, uh, to spend it right 
All right, guys, so I'm getting a lot of stuff. I'm doing 12 samples, so you have to bear with me a little bit. All right, guys, next on the list, this is Cape Heartache. This one, man, I'm really, really intrigued by. I don't know if I'm going to like it, um, but it's very piney. From what I've heard, it's very piney, and there's a strawberry note in there, and I've never seen strawberry in another fragrance, so I'm really, really uh, curious to see what it's going to be. So the notes are Douglas fir, pine resin, western hemlock, excuse me, vanilla leaf, strawberry, old growth, and mountain fog. So old growth and mountain fog kind of being the imaginary notes. And then uh, Fragmental said they had a really kind of beautiful description for this. This is kind of like Christmas time while eating some sort of like strawberry dessert. So if you're like going into the woods, picking out your perfect Christmas tree, cutting it down in the mountains while eating like a strawberry dessert. So I'm really kind of intrigued by this. <clears throat> ah, let's say it again. Okay, not at all what I thought. Not at all what I thought. In, in, in not, not a bad way. I'm going to spray more. I need a little bit more. I'm going to try to unpack this a little bit. Okay, so the strawberry note is not as like sweet or up front as I thought it might be. I was thinking something super sweet, almost loud and obnoxious kind of sweet, but this is not. So this is really good. This is very earthy, very, very piney. <clears throat> almost like, man, it's like, it's so weird how they just put these imaginary notes in there. And when you think of that, you're just like, yes, that's exactly what it is. Like old growth, like just tree bark almost like, oh man, this stuff is really good. So that strawberry note is not very present like I thought it was going to be, which is very interesting. So what I get is a lot of just like green pine, almost like tree bark like vibes and very just mountainous like, so not at all what I thought. This is actually really good. I enjoy this quite, quite a lot. Okay. So Cape Heartache, definitely a winner, definitely a winner. All right, guys, we got four more, so including this one. This is Yesterday's Haze. This is one of the more popular ones, so I'm kind of really intrigued by this one. Yesterday's Haze, where are you? Boom, last on the list. Okay, are on their sheet. So the notes for this one's going to be Fig, Iris, Cream, Tonka, Tree Bark, Walnut, Bitters, and Orchard Dust. All right. <laughs> this is really good really really good <sighs> okay so I get a lot of fig a lot of fig and you get so I, I don't know if cream is actually a note in here but it's very creamy very creamy and I do like walnut bitters is obviously one of the imaginary notes but it does have kind of a walnut nutty creamy fig vibe to it and it's kind of irisy but not like I mean, so not like a Dior, uh, um, Dior uh, home home or anything like that. Like it's not super lipsticky, but it does kind of have the iris vibe in the background. And as it kind of just sits there, it starts to pick up more of the iris note, but very figgy. I don't know if that's a word, figgy, but very fig-like, very creamy. And you kind of get a little bit of Tonka in there, not not a lot. I do like this one though. It's not not exactly what I thought it was gonna be. It smells great. Don't get me wrong. I'm very impressed with a lot of these on here. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that one. That one, it's very creamy, figgy, if that makes sense. All right, guys, down to. Actually I, actually, I lied. I got Memoirs of a Trespasser and um, Falling into the Sea. Okay, Sun Drunk. Did I already do Sun Drunk? I don't think I did. I'm going to make sure. Okay, so apparently I got uh, another Sun Drunk. So I'm going to pass on that one. Uh, I guess the lucky subscriber is getting three 2ML samples. All right, Slow Explosions. This one I'm really kind of excited about. So... Um, watched a review on this one and 
it uh, has rose in here. So rose is one of those notes I'm really trying to get more um, used to. So the notes are saffron, rose, absolute leather, apple, benzoin, uh, cashmere, and a para night market. So maybe like a like a Middle Eastern market. I don't know. Let's find out. Good. Why are these so good, Josh? You're gonna make me spend all my money. Okay, lots of saffron, a beautiful, beautiful rose absolute, and this just juicy apple. Oh, the apple in there is so amazing. I flipping love apple. Apples become one of my favorite notes. Like I know that sounds weird, but I like with uh, the uh, Zahara signature uh, signature way out the apple in there. Hmm. Okay, so lots of rose, lots of saffron, very sweet kind of saffrony, but this apple in here is just winning it for me, guys. It's just so flipping juicy. I don't really pick up any leather, at least not in the very opening, so I'm curious to see how this would dry down. Slow explosions, a definite, definite win. My table is like getting super, super cramped. Okay, last one in the actual box. This is O unknown. So this one is kind of like a, a tea. I hear that hear about tea being in here. Really excited about this, guys. I like tea. Uh, I like to drink tea. I like to go to tea shops and smell different types of teas. Okay, so notes: black tea, uh, lasting. I cannot even pronounce that. Not even gonna lie. Orris butter, uh, coyote moss, musk blossom, sandalwood, and then question mark. So an unknown. Um, unknown note, Lapsing, I can't pronounce that, I'm not, sorry guys, I can't pronounce that, alright, O unknown, let's do this, wow, okay, not what I thought it was going to be, it literally smells like tea, like, like a tea shop, like you walk into a local tea shop, very musky, like a like a like a dry musk. The loss of tea, almost. Like it must be the orris butter. I don't know. I'm not picking up any sandalwood, really. Not, not, not any kind of creaminess from it. Okay, I mean this is not what I thought it was gonna be. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Very tea shop, like you just walked into a tea. Um, here's what I picture. Here's a good picture of this. Picture someone probably in their 60s or 70s got a like a flannel jacket on with like the leather patches. Um, he's got like a fedora. He's uh, I just picture like an older man with a mustache, um, glasses, yellow pants, like kind of almost like a mustard yellow type pants and like a green like flannel type jacket with a cane walking into a tea shop getting his favorite tea. That's, that's what I smell. And he's in London. I don't know. That's just kind of the vibe that I get. I love how fragrances can give us, like, different pictures. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I think I like it as it's drying down. So, I'm going to come back to that here in a second. But now, <clears throat> time for the moment of I've waited for. I don't know if you waited for it. You probably like, dude, hurry to flip up, get this video wrapped up. If you're even still here, thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that my most anticipated one for last so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go with memoirs of a trespasser Whew, i'm excited guys i love vanilla i love fall winter type fragrances so the notes madagascar vanilla guyac wood myrrh uh benzoin resin uh embrit seeds and oak barrels so don't let me down don't let me down baby i believe in you yeah Okay, it's not as like vanilla, vanilla. Uh, it's not very yeah vanilla. I guess that's a word. Uh, it's not as vanilla as I thought it might be. You get the myrrh in here for sure. So like you know how like when you smell like a, like an amouage fragrance like interlude man or something like that, you can definitely pick up on that myrrh. 
definitely picking up on the myrrh and vanilla. And the oak barrel in the background gives it the smoky kind of resin. Guys, this is good stuff. This is a lot more mature than I thought it was going to be. Not going to lie. I thought it was going to be super sweet. I thought it was going to be super sweet with some smoke, but definitely not. Oh, man, this is good stuff. Okay. So very smoky oak barrel type vibes with vanilla and myrrh. So I thought this was going to be a little bit different, but man, this is good stuff still. Whoa, okay, as it dries down, there's like something going on. I'm gonna see what this is. I almost got like a like a weird fruit note in there, but it's not listed. Maybe my nose is just going crazy from all these 12 samples that I've done, 11 samples. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay, and then the last but not least, I saved the best for last. Hopefully it's the best for last. This is one that, man, I just almost blind bought a full bottle of it just because of, um, how people have described it especially cam at carolina fragrance reviews you said this is one of your favorite uh, uh summertime fragrances so i'm excited so lemon bergamot grapefruit lychee tropical flowers and warm sand guys how can you go wrong with this we're coming into summertime this might just be bottle worthy let's see <laughs> yes okay this is so good okay so you definitely get a lot more of the florals. Whoop, I'm dropping stuff. Okay, I'm trying to get this opened up here to get the notes back. Definitely get a lot of lemon, very lemony, very grapefruit. Oh man, you get those flowers that come in here. Sorry, this is not like in my face. Here we go. So lemon and bergamot, very, very heavy. Grapefruit, juicy, juicy grapefruit. Oh man, this is so good. Super citrusy, tropical flowers. You get like this floral note in here that's amazing. So you know what this really honestly smells like in the best way? This smells like a super like tropical, very sour lemonade, like that's the best way to put this like a soured like super sour super citrusy lemonade with like like a little flower on top of it as you drink it on the beach oh, this is so good guys oh, so good okay so definitely bottle worthy all right guys this video is still gonna go on I'm gonna come back here in a second. I'm gonna let the dry down sit and then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts and what my favorites were. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, so it's probably been about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. Let them dry down, smelled on paper. Um, honestly, I probably should have done them on skin. I think that some of them would have done better off of them, but needless to say, I'm so freaking happy. I'm so just elated to have these in my collection. Um, there's definitely gonna be uh, one, two, three, four, five bottles <laughs> that I'm going to be buying. So obviously not all at once, but definitely going to be getting them here very soon. So I don't necessarily have like a super favorite, but I do have two that are in the markings for my favorites. So the first one is Saint Julep. Like this stuff, man, the saffron in there, the sugar, the, the just the citrus is in there. It was amazing. And then one that I didn't, I mean, I was kind of had my hopes up for. This was Every Storm a Serenade. Like this stuff is just absolutely amazing. But then the other three that I, I chose that, man, they're just amazing. Definitely buying bottles. Definitely my favorites out of them was uh, Falling Into the Sea, of course. And then I was kind of surprised actually, but the Cobra and the Canary, that was one that I was kind of unsure about with lemon and leather. I was like, eh, I don't know how that's going to go, but it dried down beautifully, super, super awesome. And then, whoops, another one that I wasn't sure I was going to like, but honestly, I think I'm finally starting to appreciate Rose was Slow Explosion. So definitely going to be getting those bottles. I'm really excited. Uh, to get those and then who knows maybe as time goes on maybe with each wear um, I'll like the other ones. Oh, and then obviously um, a city on fire that one's definitely got to be in there um, I just didn't have it in here, but um, Those ones other ones. I'm gonna try and wear more the only one that really just 
I didn't care for, um, even after it dried down, was O Unknown. It just smelled very almost dusty, dirty, um, like tea. So uh, this wasn't for me, and that's fine. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad fragrance by any means. Um, you know, I will never say don't buy anything. That's not my job. My job is to give you my thoughts and opinions, and you to make that decision for yourself. It just didn't work for me. So um, if you don't like more earthy, um, just musky fragrances, you know, uh, definitely sample it before uh, blind buying. But all right, guys, the moment you've probably been waiting for, thank you so much for sticking with me this long. Um, so for the giveaway, what I'm going to do is um, here are the rules, okay? Three simple rules, okay? First, you have to be subscribed to the channel. I mean, that's just kind of a giveaway. Uh, two, like the video. And then three, in the comment section below, I just want you to type simply fragrance and then they'll I only have three to give but um which one um was which one interested you most whether it was the ones that i'm giving away or any in the video which one interests you the most which one caught your attention which one do you think that you would uh, resonate with the most so subscribe to the channel like the video and then tell me in the comment section type in simply fragrance and then this is the one that i thought was the best or this is the one that caught my attention so that way I know, and then I can go ahead and pick a winner. I'm gonna give it a full week. So this is Friday, Saturday, wow. <laughs> it is Saturday. So next Saturday, I'm gonna do a video with the uh, winner, and it's gonna be a randomized winner. I'm gonna pick just a number from however many people actually comment, number from one to however many number, do a random uh, number, and that'll be the lucky winner. So thank you guys seriously so much. Really appreciate this. Josh Meyer, man, you were just doing amazing, amazing stuff over at Imaginary Authors. Uh, thank you for the fast and uh, professional shipping. Really appreciate that. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Sorry I went on so long, but I wanted to give all out at once. I, I just I wanted to give you my first thoughts and impressions on that. So, um, all right, guys, remember, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, if you love it, wear it.